good evening doctors welcome for our today's session our today's topic is hemochromatosis it is autosomal recessive disorder a represent autosomal r represent here recessive so what is the definition of hemochromatosis him means iron chroma chroma means color but here is the deposition of iron excess deposition of iron in a body excess deposition of iron so this is known as hemochromatosis second one we are going to know what kind of causes there are so many causes but the most common cause is genetics genetica heterogeneous gene x heterogeneous why this hemochromatosis happen this hemochromatosis happen because there is a mutation there is a mutation of a gene hfe gene mutation in hfe gene which leads the missense 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 and uh, after that it uh, converts into cytosine and tyrosine cytosine and tyrosine which leads the accumulation of iron which is harmful that is harmful these are the primary causes genetics is primary these all are the primary causes secondary secondary causes are also include i am going to write here secondary causes here see secondary causes like some infections like listeria l i s t e r i a listeria mono cytogenes please remember this one this is an infection also can cause iron loving these infection are iron run loving and uh, yersinia enterocolitis second one is yersinia entero colitis yersinia entero colitis second one and another one here is vibrio vomi fears vibrio me fear so till here we know what is hemochromatosis hemochromatosis is the excess deposition of iron in our body so what are the causes causes genetics heterogeneous hfe gene which happens missing sister cytosine and tyrosine and then iron accumulation but secondary some infection like listeria yersinia and vibro okay now how to identify this disease hemochromatosis yes yesterday i saw a patient he came his color is bronze bronze skin bronze so why bronze because there is accumulation of iron in his skin that's why it's a bronze color is skin and in joints joint there is arthropathy arthropathy and arthritis it causes why arthropathy and arthritis because iron when it accumulates in a free radical and these free radicals accumulate in the joints and causes arthropathy pain pain in joint is known as arthralgia and arthritis means inflammation of a joint and erosions git in gi tract it causes the abdominal pain why abdominal pain because iron accumulate here the free radicals abdominal pain you know my dear friends where the site of absorption of iron is the site of absorption of iron is duodenum okay 
Now pancreas, what does it do? It destroy the beta cells. Beta cells of pancreas destroyed due to excess accumulation of iron. And it, what was the function of beta cell? It produces the insulin. It secretes insulin. If this is destroyed, if this is destroyed, so what is going to happen? Hyperglycemia. Hyperglycemia. If hyperglycemia it causes diabetes mellitus. There's a diabetes mellitus and three symptoms presenting here. Polydipsia, polyphagia, polyphasia, polydipsia, polyuria. These three combines to form osmotic symptoms. So here is diabetes also. In pituitary, in pituitary, you have to watch my lecture endocrine physiology of pituitary. So I am going to explain. In pituitary, there is a hypothalamus, hypothalamus, HYP I written like this. And then it releases the LH growth <laughs> hormone, LH releasing growth hormone, then luteinizing releasing hormone, LH releasing hormone. Then it goes on anterior pituitary. From anterior pituitary, it secretes LH and FSH. Then these are act on gonads, gonads, and these gonads secrete testosterone, PST, estrogen, and progesterone. So what happened with pituitary? It damages. There is also accumulation of iron. When pituitary damage, this axis is known as hypothalamus pituitary uh, gonadal axis. So if anterior pituitary is damaged, it secretes less LH, less FSH or not. So gonads not getting LH FSH. So there is decreased level of testosterone, my dear friends, and it causes hypogonadism and size of test is smaller. Hypogonadism, decreased libido, patient complaint. I don't have a good relationship with my wife due to decreased level of testosterone, decreased libido because there is a damage of pituitary, anterior pituitary. So on heart, heart it causes restrictive cardiomyopathy. Cardiomyopathy. Why restrictive cardiomyopathy? Because there is accumulation of iron in the heart. See, what kind of fat in whole body, in liver, there is accumulation of iron which causes what? Cirrhosis, C-I-W-R-H-O-S-I-S, cirrhosis of liver. And finally, its complication, HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma. So see how dangerous is it? How dangerous is it? It causes restrictive cardiomyopathy, finally it causes CSD, congestive heart disease and sudden death, sad situation. Very sad. So, how to diagnose? I already explained, when I saw a patient bronze color skin up, my mind strikes yet, it is hemochromatosis, but I uh, like to do some investigations, see some other uh, functions, like CBC. In CBC, we see uh, sometimes increased ferritin, ferritin increases, serum iron increases, Fe means iron. But here there is a decrease in what? Serum transferrin. Serum transferrin. Why transferrin decreases? I'm going to explain you now. If in whole body there is accumulation of iron, what transferrin do? Transfer the iron. Transferring the iron. But what happens if someone people he carry 10 kg? If you give 100 kg to carry somewhere. So what? His one going to down. So here transferrin level are also same. Transferrin can't able to carry so much iron. That's why transferrin 
goes down, it decreases. Okay, but what happened with blood sugar? Yeah, beta cell destroyed, not working, not producing insulin. So, what was the insulin work? To act uh, uh, on uh, receptors and which decreases the sugar level. But if insulin is not working, not producing by the beta cell in this situation, so blood sugar level increases, increases. LFT, if there is cirrhosis, cirrhosis due to accumulation of iron. So what happened? SGOT, SGPT, SGPT increases, elevated, all liver enzyme, bilirubin, direct, indirect bilirubin increases. Okay, what is the most accurate piece? Camera and come here and see. Okay, please focus here, focus here. Most accurate diagnosis is biopsy. Biopsy, we are going to confirm diagnosis with the help of biopsy onwards. What was the treatment? Phlebectomy. Phlebotomy. Phlebotomy is the treatment. Need to give blood every three weeks or maybe in a three months due to reduce iron upload. And uh, here, this deforexamine drug we can use also i hope this topic is clear i hope this topic is clear now it's a session for question and answer now i am going to ask some questions with you okay first question true about hemochromatosis true about hemochromatosis uh, in Ames, May 2010. Question paper. I am going to ask uh, option. First, listen carefully. Is genetically heterogeneous? Hemochromatosis is genetically heterogeneous. A option. B is treated by phlebotomy. C is completely penetrant. And D is more common in females. More common in females. D option. So, my question goes to Dr. Lal Singh answer. Hey. Yes, he is absolutely right. It is genetically heterogeneous. Why? But here, fourth question, listen carefully. Fully, uh, fourth option is more common in female. No, this is autosomal recessive. So, this is more common in only males. Okay, another question. All are seen in hemochromatosis except hypogonadism, A option. B is arthropathy. C is bronze diabetes and D is this feroxamine treatment of choice uh, in AIPG and ABLE 2008. My question goes to Dr. Madan. Answer. A. Yes, he is absolutely right. D feroxamine is not a treatment of choice. Yes, we can use, we can use, but not a treatment of choice. This feroxamine. Okay, another question. Alalu, age 54 years, who is a non-diabetic patient, develops cirrhosis, there is associated skin hyperpigmentation, restrictive cardiomyopathy, which of the following is the best initial test to diagnose this case, A option, total iron binding capacity, B is serum ferritin, C is serum copper, D is serum ceruloplasmin, Okay, my question goes to Dr. Lal Singh. Answer. A. Yes, he is absolutely right. Total iron binding capacity is the right answer. Okay, another question. Earliest phenotype manifestation of idiopathic hereditary hemochromatosis is option A, postperennial increase in serum iron concentration. Option B is elevated serum ferritin level. Option C is silate gray pigmentation of skin. Option D is increased transparent saturation. My question goes to mother. Answer. D. Yes, he is absolutely right here. Increase in transparent saturation. No need to think. And 2001 aims. Very easy question they ask. Uh, patient present with arthritis, hyperpigmentation, skin, uh, and there is hypogonadism. So it's clear. Its answer is hemochromatosis. Thank you. Thank you, my dear friends. I have a request with you all my online viewers. Uh, if you like my channel, please put like on it. If you have any queries and question, you can ask me. I am ready to answer you. And please don't forget to subscribe my channel. If you still not subscribe my channel, if you are going to subscribe my channel, 
it's uh, give me a uh, power it's give me confidence to put more videos on this channel my videos are free of course for those students those uh, who really wanna study okay my dear friends have a good day good night thank you that's all for today's session have a good day good night